Holy shit, man. Come on. This traffic already? What's up, YouTube? This is your boy, John Chow. This is April 20th. Uh, I already left my house um, already from work. And now, I'm about to go work out. Uh, it has been a long day. And yesterday, I only have about maybe four or five hours of sleep. That's it? Yeah. Kind of a little rough this morning. But you know what? I'm pulling it off well. I'm going to make it happen. So, it's time to go work out. It's chest day. So, before I usually like work, work out, uh, I like to listen to my trap, a little bit of hard style. I want to like, get that heart bump off going, you know? You know that trance. I mean, I don't mind listening to trance or progressive house, but those are those are more good for like when I do cardio. So, trap and hard style are the best way for me to go. Get that nice pop for uh, for a nice workout. So, so something like this, mostly festival trap. That's what I usually like. Festival trap slash hip hop. Right before I hit, right before workout. So let's have all this. All right, you guys. So I'm gonna be doing a voiceover for my workout. Um, so today's chest day. I'm starting out with chest by doing a flat bench. Uh, right here you see first set is 165 and I did 8 to 12 reps on this one. I forgot. I think 10 or 12. I f it's, uh, this video is kind of old. <laughs> so next set, I did 185 and this circuit was heavy for me. But you know what? I love that feel. So I keep going. And so I think I did 8 reps on this sucker. Keep pushing it. And uh, you see... I'm not a person that usually try to arc my back a lot, but maybe I should do it more often so I can give you more lift. So, and here's the thing, after I did that, I did 195. I think I did four or five reps. I knew I could do more, but I usually don't like to have someone spot me um, or ask a random person to spot me just because I don't want to waste people's time. You know, people, time is very precious for people. Uh, so I usually don't ask people to spot me unless people, someone I know. So next one, I, I'm doing an incline dumbbell press. This is a 75, and um, I did I did about 12. Shoot, I forgot. I think 12, 12 reps on this thing. And as you can see, oh damn, you see my belly sticking out. Oh yeah, what's up? So, okay, so in the next video, you're gonna see me um, doing the same thing, but this guy. Took me took me a while because this guy got a little booty twerking out for me, you know, got me a little coughing. I was like, oh shoot, what's up, man? You booty twerking for me for my dumbbell press? So, <laughs> so, <laughs> so I, I was I was cracking up when I saw this video after I shoot this thing. So I think so I did a second sense, um, ten reps on this one, and just get a good. Good uh, contraction for my uh, for my chest from doing this incline. And yes, as you can see, I was struggling. Um, usually, my right hands are the weakest one for some reason. Even though I am right-handed, but usually I'm really bad at it for some reason. So I have to train harder on train more on my right hand. So third set, same thing, seventy-five. Um, I think I did about eight, eight reps on this one. And in the video, you want to see these guys from the background going to be walking back and forth in front of my camera. Um, don't know why they've been doing this. I mean, yeah, they're looking for dumbbells, but they can just walk around me. But you know what? This is a gym. It happens all the time. Not surprised. Yep. Again, he did it again. So of course you see I'm struggling. I'm struggling uh, with my incline dumbbell. And I was like, oh yeah, what's up, man? It feels good. And here's my fourth one. And here we go, the same guy again in the background. <laughs> and I met the guy in the background as the yellow one. I mean, the yellow pant. So, pushing it hard. 
keep pushing it. And um, damn, holy shoot, man. Damn, my stomach's stick sticking out. What's up, man? Got that Buddha belly. So, all right. So now I'm doing, um, um, fuck, I forgot what it's called. Flies, I think, yeah, flies. And usually, I like flies a lot. Especially, you know, when you're, when, when you're squeezing it, hell yeah, it feels so damn good. It feels like someone's squeezing your titties. Yeah, I love that feeling. And after you're finished, it burns. And, but it gives that nice definition when you squeeze. And yeah, sorry guys, I only record one set of that just because on my other videos for that cross, uh, for the flies, people are just walking across my camera and there's really no point um, showing showing you guys my uh, flies. So here I'm doing a uh, machine uh, incline press and I did it kind of like, um, what's, I forgot what's this called. Uh, it's where you hold it upward and you do it one at a time while you're holding the other arm upward again. Fuck. I, forget. I think that's what it's called. Fuck. I don't know what it's called. But it helps a lot. It keeps the contraction up. And in my work, in my chest workout, I like to do a burnout. And if I'm doing a burnout, I like to do dips. And it was a good feel. And it hurts like hell. Um, yeah, so that's one thing. So this is my end of my Alright, guys. So just got done working out. I'm exhausted. It has been a long day, but I'll make it happen. Let's see if I can find my car. Huh. I'm really excited. 